Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you're all having a great day. In today's video, I will be doing a sinking funds slash savings update for the month of October, as well as sharing my sinking funds tracker and how I track all of our savings. So if you're interested in videos like this, then keep watching. All right, so I changed my setup a little bit. Hopefully it's a little bit better. I really didn't think thoroughly before I started making this video. So let me go over my sinking funds tracker. The first column is the category. I write all of our sinking funds categories in this column. Second column is our starting balance, which was the ending balance from not last month. So that's all of them there. And then the ending balance, the difference, whether we, were, we are gonna be in the green or red. The next column is our goals. So whatever goal I have for each specific category, some categories don't have any goal specifically. And the last one is our notes. So it's pretty much what I want a certain category to be for. Like for example, the services, I want that to be a Christmas bonus for our landscaping service and our pool cleaning service. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get started. But before I do, um, <laughs> that reminds me of Taylor Budgets. <laughs> If you guys watch her videos, you know what I'm talking about. So the starting balance, everything added up all together is $11,546. That's our starting total. And there is a few changes that happened from last month to this month. I did remove our household sinking fund from this tracker and I added it to my regular cash envelopes. And then um, I added the services envelope that one used to be in my cash envelopes and I added it to our sinking funds as well as I added a Thanksgiving category. So those are these changes for last month to this month. All right, so we're gonna start with our first sinking funds binder. For the first category, it's emergency fund and the starting balance was 1,475. Now it's 1,100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 520, 530, 540, 550, 560, 565, 1,565. And now I'm going to subtract the starting balance to the ending balance. And that is an increase of $90. Next is home repairs, and that's a starting balance of $598. And now we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460, 461, 62, 63. $463 in home repairs. Let's see. So 463. So that's going to be a decrease of 135. Oh my God, it's not working. All right, we got it. Next is home decor. And that was a starting balance of 280. Now we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 275, 76, 77, 78. 278. And that is a decrease of two dollars all right so now we're going to room makeover and that was a starting balance of 2637 and now we have 1000 2000 2500 2600 20 40 60 65 70 75 80 81 82 2682 so let's see 2,682 minus 2,637 is an increase of 45. Utilities was a starting balance of 78. And now it's at 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. That one stayed the same. 
Okay, so 78 and there's no change. Next is car maintenance. And car maintenance was a starting balance of 594. Now we have 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 634. 634 minus 594 is an increase of 40. I'm being extra quiet, guys, because I'm really trying to concentrate. And it's early in the morning, like always. All my videos are always early in the morning. Next is annual bills, and that, I believe it stayed the same. Yeah, I'm not even going to open it. All right, so that's 200, and it stayed the same. This is the new one, so our starting balance was $90, and this is just the bonus for the Christmas bonus. Um, so now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. We have 100. And that increased by $10. And we've actually met our goal. So our goal was $100 because we are giving them $50 each. So that goal was met already. <laughs> That's like the only one. So next is rollover funds. This one doesn't have a specific goal. And it's pretty much just whatever rollover money we um, take out and put it in here for our from our cash envelopes, that's what this has been accumulating. So now it started off at 175 and now we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 235, 236. That is a pretty big jump, 236. 236 minus 175 is an increase of $61. That's good guys, because I do like to keep, if you guys have watched my videos, you know that I love to keep buffers in our cash envelopes just so that we don't go over. We already have a little cushion in there. So the fact that we're still able to save some money for the month, that's awesome. So now I'm gonna go over to the next binder. I just moved it out of the way because it was sliding everywhere. So we're gonna start with my daughter. Her starting balance was $645, and now she has 500, 600, 620, 640, 660, 670, 680, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93. 693. 693. Now let's see what her increase is so that's an increase of 48 that's good guys my kids i'm trying to increase theirs but there's a few goals we want to accomplish before we like really go hard on their savings so next is my son phoenix and he was a, had a starting balance of 642 and now he has 500 600 620 640 660 680 690, 705, 10, 15, 20. 720. <laughs> 720. So that was an increase of $78. So far, only two in the red, guys. My son Josiah, he had a starting balance of 642, and I believe he has the same, but let's go ahead and count it. Now he has 500, 600, 620, 640, 660, 680, 690, 705, 10, 15, 20. Yep, 720. All right, 720. So he has the same increase. Next is our oldest son, Isaiah. He had a starting balance of 672. 
and now he has 500, 600, 650, 700, 720, 740, 760, 780, 790, 800, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. 822. Just making sure. 822. So he has an increase of 672. He has an increase of $150. And if this is your first video and you're confused as to why certain kids get more than others, it's because my daughter is, she's only two years old, so she has so much time for us to save for her. And our oldest son, he is sixteen, going to be 16 years old, so we want to increase his savings quickly because he is closer to adulthood than all of our other kids. And the uh, Phoenix and Josiah, they're in the middle, so they do kind of get a little bit more than my daughter. My youngest to my youngest son, that's a 10 year difference. So, you know, we have so much more time with our daughter. That's why those numbers are way different. So now we're going over to back to school. Not that you guys asked about all that spiel, but I just want to clarify in case there's any questions. So back to school started off at 215. Now there's 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 210, 15, 20. So that was only 220. That was only a $5 increase. And by the way, even though some of these only look like, okay, this was only $5, so I only put $5 towards back to school, that's not the case. I did put more through the month, but we did use some of the money in certain categories. That's why by the end, it just seems like there's very little, but there was certain expenses during the month that depleted some of these um, envelopes. So now clothing started off at 112. And now there's 100 and we actually you had used up all of clothing but I did add a hundred dollars so it would only see oh actually that was depleted right let me get my white out I made a mistake so that is a decrease of $12 I thought it's an increase because like I said, we added the $100 because we had spent it and then I redeposited some more money in here. So now activities was a starting balance of 105 and now there's 115. 15. 115. Oop. Oh my God, I'm missing up. So that was a increase of ten dollars and a lot of these we didn't put too much towards our sinking funds this month because we are prioritizing paying down our debt and we are pretty much on goal to finish paying off two debts by the end of the month by the end of the year my mistake so that's why there wasn't a lot of savings put into our sinking funds so health was a starting balance of 227 and now there's 100 200 220 230 235 36 37 237 237 so that was an increase of ten dollars vacation was a starting balance of 354 and now there's 100 200 300 350 370 390 395 400 dollars 400 i have to repeat it because if not i'll forget <laughs> okay let me let me just do the math on that one 354 that's 46 dollars i can't do simple math when i'm doing these videos guys next is birthdays and that's uh Starting balance of 168. Now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 130. 130. 
So that's, uh, I think I could do that one. 38, right? I'm right, right? <laughs> Next is Christmas. That was a starting balance of 818. And now there's 500, 600, 700, 800, and 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87. 887 dollars let me make sure yeah 887 so that is an increase of 69 dollars i think i said this in my last sinking funds update but everything looks so pretty and then when i'm doing the numbers on camera my numbers look so ugly and it doesn't help that I'm like, <laughs> next is holidays. That was a starting balance of $80. Now we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 67. Am I right? Why does this say 66? Let me recount it. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. I think I might have missed a dollar. Okay, so that's $67. So that is a $13 decrease. Well, let me make sure because, yeah. <laughs> Next is dates. Um, let me skip this one because I added that to the end. You know what? Let me just do it. So I think there's only 20 books in here. Yeah. So that's 20. $20. So that is an increase of 20. I wanted to have a separate envelope for Thanksgiving. I know I could have just added it in holidays, but I just wanted to have a separate envelope. And Jackie, Jackie. Jazzy Faye Budgets um, got me this envelope and I thought it was so cute, so I wanted to use it. Uh, dates was in a starting balance of 170 and now there's 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 44. We did go out on a date, guys. So that was a ending balance, a decrease of 126 yeah we actually went out on i guess one was a date but my daughter was um included we went to denny's one one day and then we went to korean barbecue for our actual date me and him alone so shopping was a starting balance of 47 now there's 20 30 35 40 40 dollars so that was a decrease of seven. I'm gonna have to, after I'm done, just go over all the numbers to make sure that I didn't make a mistake. I might've used a green pen when it was supposed to be red. So Brian's envelope, he had a starting balance of 262, but he went a little crazy this month. So now he has 20, 40, 60. So now he only has 60 and that was a decrease of $202 and actually he spent it all. I just added $60 as a buffer because he is usually going over his spending money for the month. So I'd rather have some money here. Next is my sinking fund and you see. Who's the spender and who's the saver, guys? Can you tell? <laughs> that was a starting balance of $260. And now I have 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 320, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. That is an ending balance of... $383. Let me just make sure. Yes. I am saving, trying to save all my money. So 383 minus 260 
I was able to save $123 for the month of October and I didn't spend, like I didn't dip into this. If I spent any money, I still had enough with my um, regular spending money for the month. So we are done with everything. I'm gonna go ahead and add up all of these totals. I'll just do it by myself. I'll cut this part out so that it doesn't take so long for me to do it. And then I'll come back and tell you guys the total. All right, guys. So I triple checked and the total is $11,894. $11,894. I'm still going to check again off screen. You guys are more than welcome to help me and tell me if I made a mistake. Let me know in the comments. And now we're gonna do the difference. So from the 11,894, we are gonna subtract 11,546. And that is an increase. I'm just gonna do it in green. That's an increase of $348 that we were able to save for the month of October. It isn't that much, but you know what? Anything is better than nothing. That's $348 more that we have in our envelopes that we're able to just have cushions for expenses. All right, guys, so we're at the end of this video. Let me know if you guys track your sinking funds. Do you track your savings? Do you do it on paper? Do you do it digitally? Let me know. Do you guys like my sinking funds tracker? Will you be trying to do it this way? Let me know, guys. I really want to know. Let's chat in the comments. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night. See you next time. Bye.